<sighs> Hello, gamers. I just watched this uh, pretty pretty okay video. Um, big mistakes small YouTubers still make from, uh, I think it's VidiQ is how you say the channel. I think I've heard of this channel before, but um, yeah. Starting off the Witcher 3 Let's Play video, fine and dandy with uh, with something that has nothing to do with the game. Going to do wonders for my viewer retention, which, uh, yeah. Everything everything is soulless uh, on the internet. Everything is vying for the attention of children, retards, um, you know, Zoomers. Well, that's kind of the th it's kind of three of the same thing, but anyways, I mean, I had to watch this video on two times speed. Now, I do maybe that is a uh, zoomer brain rot, you know, two times speed. But I think that yeah, if you're just watching like something that you actually want to watch because it's fun to watch, obviously don't watch it on two times speed because if you're enjoying watching something, why would you want it to go by faster? But if you're just watching something to get the information, then by all means, like I always have it at two times speed, especially if it's some fucking limey waffling off about stuff that I, Welcome you know, to the big blah, 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 blah. The problem is you're doing it all wrong, which is probably why you're getting frustrated already. So let's spin off. Um, so, yeah, so th this is pretty, pretty good advice that he has in this video, I will, I will say. Um, not that I have any authority. And, uh, I mean... I guess, yeah, he does technically have authority on this because he's a successful YouTube channel. But, I don't know. To me, oh my god! Um, to me, like... God, what was I going to say? I'm just some jackass on the internet. You can watch my videos if you want. Um, it's not some big game. Now, I do, like, put... Well, I don't put a lot of time in the thumbnails. I had to fucking go through and reduce or keep uh, shrinking them because they wouldn't fit because YouTube doesn't use thumbnails bigger than two megabytes, which is understandable, I suppose. But um, yeah, the, and I try and think of like a, the most attractive title, you know, just because I do want people to click on it and you can call me shallow or seeking viewers for that but i mean what the hell is the point of uploading it to youtube if you don't want people to see it you know just make the video private then so anyways i try to pick the best quote from the from the video um or one of the best and then get the probably coolest or most interesting screenshot that i could actually find easily you know i'm not going to actually comb through the video and find like maybe i could do that but unless it's you know if it's a super long video like I've been doing, then probably not going to do that unless I have a specific moment in mind, which I more than likely will for these type of videos where I'm going over the story or um, going over just the story where it's like a super dense video. It's not just me running around the map. That's why I like to do that. That's why I did that um, early on. I ran around like this middle of Velen and then like southeastern Velen, and I spent a couple of very long videos. Um, or I guess three. Well, th these two are very long, and this one is like four hours or so. I want to keep the videos at around two hours, and I've and I've been really bad at doing that. Um, I didn't mean to start this video off by talking about YouTube, but I just wanted to talk about this video. Um, a mistake he made was uh, not saying the information quickly enough, but that's not necessarily a mistake. Um, on trying to make this video get as many views as possible because, you know, if I think, yeah, it's like eight minutes to be able to put as many mid rolls on there as possible and you need to stretch it out and you can't just give everything right away, I guess, you know, but, and I like the two times speed feature where you can just hold it, you know, let's see, I'll put it back to normal. Those two aspects right and that is the first very common i like this feature but it probably wrecks people's watch time if i'm guessing because like how am i going why am how am i going to actually watch and like go like that to this guy for 10 minutes of my time you know rookie mistake not spending long enough 
Oh, also, he does say in the video that um, everybody's, you know, everybody's time is short or limited or whatever. And I, I, I sort of agree. I don't really like the idea of wasting time. Um, and uh, I suppose I value my time and the time of others, but I think that you should give you should give people the time of day. Um, but anyways, the we do have a lot of time. Obviously, our time is limited, but we have at least 70 or so years, unless you get into an accident or get murdered or whatever, which you likely won't, which likely won't happen, but it can, you know. Um, or you have health issues, but we we have a decent amount of time, and it's it's best spent doing what we like to do, um, or providing for ourselves, or trying to improve ourselves. Um, and I was thinking while I was watching this, like, um, you could make the cruel utilitarian argument where it's like, if you're not spending your time making the world a better place or, you know, saving other people, then you're wasting your time. And it's like, that's just so dumb. Um, cause it would mean that pretty much every moment of everyone's life is wasted because let's be real no nobody's actually out there like making the world a better place very few people are actually doing that or actually even think about it or bother bother with that because why would you you know why would why the fuck would you want to make a make the world a better place am i right gamers um no uh, i don't know i'll just continue doing what i'm doing um i might yeah i i i, I might put some more effort and thought into my thumbnails and stuff but like, like what's probably already happened is most people have clicked off this video and, uh, most people don't give a shit and they're just looking to doom scroll or whatever and keep going. And I don't know, just, just put this video on, um, and enjoy, you know, that's all I really care about. Um, you can have it in the background or like that one commenter can help you fall asleep or, you know, um, although yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's okay to, to do like chores while you're having like a podcast or whatever in the background, but I think it's a good idea to try and, um, do things without constant simulation. Yeah. I, I definitely wouldn't say that my videos are on the same level as, example red letter media where i'm just constantly watching their videos because they're so good and i can just have them on or i just watch them period you know i don't have i'm not doing something else like that's i'm devoting some of my day to watching red letter media i don't think that's necessarily my videos um and if but if if the viewers think that then that's okay i don't but i don't really see it that way uh i guess because you know my, I just had a, I just had a seven-hour video of villain, and I can't really imagine anyone actually sitting through that, I just like attentively watching it the whole time. Um, and that's not my intention, really. Um, but I do want to make it as interesting as I can, you know. But not interesting in like a sleazy, slimy YouTube algorithm, viewer retention, click-through rate, whatever way you know just something that's not wasting your time you know um anyways he challenges small creator space on youtube is getting discovered and to explain what i mean by this I'm... um i don't know i think i'm sure somebody's probably already done this but like if they're if if they're this like big youtuber who makes their career out of encouraging other youtubers which seems like kind of a scam right because it's like hey buy my book on how to get rich quick. That's kind of like what it is, but um, if you're one of these YouTubers, try and just make a new YouTube channel and see how successful, like without anybody knowing who you are. I think a few YouTubers have already done that. Like Danny Gonzalez, I think did something like that on like Instagram. And I think, uh, I think Charlie, Moist Critical did that for TikTok. But I don't know if I haven't really seen anybody do that for YouTube, where it's like a big YouTuber that already has a, at least a million or whatever, 
and makes videos about YouTube and getting big on YouTube, somebody like that who makes their career out of it should just do an experiment or just regularly try and make new YouTube channels completely fresh with no help, you know, and then that then that way they can prove their strategy or prove some other things about the algorithm and YouTube as a whole. Because to me, I think it's just luck because like I'm looking at my recommended and it's just like random junk, basically. Let's just go to the home page here. Um, bunch of shit. Well, a lot of it is kind of stuff that I would watch. Like, there's too many of these community posts on here now. I don't like I don't like that shit. And I don't want any shorts to be recommended at all. I wish you could turn that shit off. But, um, some of it is my subscription. But like, yeah, I, I don't. What now? What I just do is look at my notif. You can look at my YouTube notifications and sometimes my recommended. When I look at my subscription page, a lot of it, a lot of stuff is going to be in there that I wouldn't watch, and it's probably going to have shorts on there first because YouTube really wants to push shorts. Okay, never mind. Um, well, there they are. But I only, I only subscribe to well, I guess there are quite a few channels that I have that make shorts because shorts are very profitable. Um. But yeah, I, I some of the stuff in here, I'd um, I'd watch regularly. But yeah, I basically just pay attention to a few channels and look at these random ones like this video. Um, well, I guess that's kind of a spoiler, <laughs> but that's okay. Obviously, um. Gail's gonna find Siri or, or eventually or whatever. It's kinda like in, in Baldur's Gate 3. Obviously you're gonna um get your fucking dinky cured or whatever it is. Um that's like half the game or whatever. Anyways. Actually, now that that spoiler was in the video, I think I might just scrap this and just upload this as like a shitty video. Do I have anything else to say? I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments, gamers. What do you think about YouTube as a whole? How do you think about the state of the internet? I would love to get into a discussion with my viewers to drive up the engagement of my videos and increase the crypt clue rate and uh, all kinds of analytics. And uh, yeah, uh, my wife left me. I want to kill myself. Um, yeah, views haven't been really good. I've been I've peaked in terms of subscribers, content, audience. Where's the where's the impressions? Where's impressions? How do I see that? 100% male. Jesus. Um, watch time from subscribers. How do I get my fucking impressions? I think you have to click on... Um, You have to click on an individual video to get that information. Yeah, let's click on uh, your top content in this period. Let's click on this video. It's probably gotten a billion impressions, that's why. Reach, yeah, 20K impressions. Um, yeah, nobody pays attention to their subscription feed anymore. It's all just notifications or, um, or recommended. My, the most... The way I find most of the videos that I watch is through notifications. So, I guess, yeah, if I really don't like seeing this, because it makes kind of makes my skin crawl. But, yeah, if you actually want to watch my videos, which God help you, am I right? Um, you got to subscribe and click that fatty fucking notification bell. And if you don't, I will come to your house and... Stub your toe, okay? Uh, that doesn't even make sense. Content. Everything's content. Um, yeah. Basically, life sucks. Life sucks. Technology sucks. The internet's dead. Um... There's not really anything else to say. I guess I could finish off with a round of Gwent.
ever play Gwent. That's loud. Play classic Nilfgaard. More like Milfgaard, am I right? <laughs> okay. Okay, dang it, the controls don't actually work. Redrill. Good. Oh, we're playing monsters. Excellent. Bing 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 bong bong bing. Give him this guy. Give him that guy. Weather cards are actually kind of good. I'll play Siri, just to get ahead of him. Oh, he's gonna pass. That's neat. Awesome. Go ahead. Keep going. <clears throat> Keep the trainer rolling. I don't know if this can actually work because I've never actually used this one used that leader card in real Gwent why don't you have the other card it's weird um. Go ahead and use the good old Ooh. Blizzard. Use my fatty leader card to steal a spy. Let's go. I want to play against another Nilfgaard. Ooh, okay, this is a decent matchup. And a pretty poor hand, but that's okay. Redraw that guy. As old. Okay, well, I guess we're going with this one. Match him. I wish I could skip through this shit. Go ahead and use all geared on the ranged. Alright, he's gonna taller me. I'm ahead of him. So I'll dequip. Might as well destroy all geared while I'm here. Time to spy. Nice. Gonna use that muster and he'll probably pass then. No? 
Ooh. Okay, good. That's great. I'm gonna scorch him. No, I'll probably pass because I'm way ahead of him. Yep. And then I'll go for the cow and pass. But am I going first? Yes, I am. I'm going to steal back that taller. Hero card. As a revive a uh, cow. Go ahead and decoy that medic. I was going to have this be just a playthrough video, however, oh yeah, alright, gonna, yep, decoy this guy, and win. This was just going to be a normal Witcher 3 playthrough video, but since I got that spoiler in there, might as well turn it into a other video, and plus I talked to for a while about stuff that has nothing to do with Witcher, so. Alright. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the path. Take care.